Mom's finally making her bed again? I guess that's a good sign. It's weird that Mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. I want Mom to be happy, but not like this. Not like this! Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. Better. All right, phone. Donde estas? My phone's definitely in the bathroom. I need to find my phone before I head down there. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. <sighs> Wait, Mom wanted me to bring her purse. You're gonna be like... Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a... David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. Pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. You never saw the condoms. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. 
Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bet. We're already supporting one. Thanks. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to run from when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted made that for Mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't Mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made Mom. Like his home? Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on it. Why do I suddenly- This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick. Haven't really felt like sitting down to eat since David started having dinner here. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my dad's old swear jar? We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood. Joyce Price, AKA mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I serve them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? 
Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore but I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient, but the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible, but I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one.
What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. An electric insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean him? There's his stupid socket wrench set. <sighs> Let's get the shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. No love for Chloe. Nah. School's hardly worth walking to. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? 
Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Mm-hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. Country music. <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you. What a beautiful day. I guess mom left her purse back here. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Turn it up. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell.
Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. <laughs>